Now I am going to give you a very simple keyword by which you will remember it forever. Now how to remember this? Look at this. This word indecent is, is starting from English letter I. And you know that A, E, I, O, U, these are the vowels, right? So when you have A, E, I, O, U, vowels, A, E, I, O, U, starting with these vowels, what, what word we put before that? So you tell me, yes, N. So for indecent types, this is, you will write this, N. Okay, now I'm describing the types. So N, and then you don't have to guess because you know the types of these fruit. So N, and then you don't have to guess. Why you don't have to, you don't have to guess because you know. So let us level it now. A here means akin. Now I'm giving the examples of this. Akin. N means nut. G means grain, U means utricle, S means Samara and this S means Shizo Kar. Now this is a trick for you to remember the all types of indecent fruits. So we were discussing about simple dry fruit which is dry at maturity, the pericarp is dry. It is of two types, dehiscent and indehiscent dry. So dehiscent and indehiscent, we have already discussed the dehiscent types. So dehiscent is that type of fruit which breaks by itself and liberate the seeds, it has multiple seeds. There are different types, follicle, legume, silicua, silicil or silicula and capsule. I discussed already how to remember them and all the examples and the details in the previous videos. Now we are going to discuss about indehiscent type of fruit. Indehiscent is a type of fruit which does not break, does not break on maturity. So it does not break on maturity that means it will not liberate seeds because it does not have more number of seeds like the dehiscent one it has only one seed generally it has one seed per fruit and the fruit is having one seed and it is tightly packed it is also of different types so here you saw that it is basically five types of dehiscent here also we have different types of indehiscent now i'm going to give you a very simple keyword by which you will remember it forever let us describe the indehiscent so I will erase this now and I will use the board to describe the indehiscent. Now indehiscent which does not break. Now how to remember this? Look at this. This word indehiscent is, is starting from English letter I and you know that A, E, I, O, U these are the vowels right. So when you have A, E, I, O, U vowels A, E, I, O, U starting with these vowels what, what word we put before that. So you tell me yes N. So for indecent types this is you will write this N. Okay now I am describing the types. So N and then you don't have to guess because you know the types of these fruit. So N and then you don't have to guess. Why you don't have to, you don't have to guess because you know. So let us level it now. A here means akin. Now I am giving the examples of this. Akin. N means nut. G means grain. U means utricle. S means Samara and this S means Shizo Kar. Now this is a trick for you to remember the all types of indehiscent fruits and these are you know unique tricks which I have you know like found I have devised for you so that you can never ever forget that and all my videos in my channel you will find these type of use uh, this type of trick you know, tricks and tips for biology. So is it clear?
a n guess so n guess because it is starting from i and for i you use n and then you don't have to guess because you know these tribes now let us elaborate i will discuss with you the concepts and the details of these fruit types and examples of course so now we will discuss about dry indehiscent so simple dry dry fruit but what type indehiscent type of fruit indehiscent fruit dry indehiscent fruit okay so we are talking about now dry indehiscent fruit okay let us write the name once again so i'll write them like this since it is starting from i as i said n guess right so you'll write start with n and then you don't have to guess because you know this so a means akin second one is n n means nut okay then g g means okay, i'll use a different color for this akin nut so i'll use uh, let us say okay i'll use this one akin this is n means nut g means grain okay then we have utricle okay next one is utricle then we have samara s a m a r a samara and then we have schizocarp i'll discuss also this also schizocarp okay let us discuss these in detail akin is a type of fruit pericarp so all of them pericarp you know out this is all pericarp exocarp mesocarp endocarp together are called as pericarp pericarp is dry so in because since it is dry pericarp has to be dry and it will not be you know like uh, breaking by itself so how it looks like this akin this is the pericarp like this and the seed the seed will be here attached with the base like this you know like ovule is attached with the base to the ovary that is funiculus so here this is the seed which is which is attached to the fruit this is the fruit and this is akin example of this is sunflower you know when you go in the market go to the market you know you find that sunflower seed as it is sold trade name sunflower seed actually it is not the seed it is the fruit and which fruit it is the akin so where is the seed then when you break this pericarp when you break this you know fruit you find inside the seed this is sunflower helianthus anus scientific name is helianthus anus one more modification of of this akin is cypsella now what is cypsella cypsella is like this type of akin but what happens here that it has so it is type of akin like this it will have the seed also but it has hairs on its top like this these hairs these hairs are called as papus or hairs what they do they help in you know uh, type of they work as a parachute mechanism when with because since we discussed it is a dry fruit so you know like they have to devise a way to get dispersed from one place to another place by wind 
So by wind, these when the wind are blowing by with the help, by the help of these peppers, they are you know guided and they are taken. They are light weighted, so they are taken from one place to other place. Example of this type of fruit is dandelion. Dandelion. These achenes are found in family Asteraceae, compositi family, sunflower and this. So this is Asteraceae family. Asteraceae or compositi family. Achene. Let us come to the next one, which is nut. Nut is like achene, a type of modification of achene, but nut is a bigger structure, hard structure. It is not broken easily. So nut is bigger. So nut is bigger in size. This is bigger in size. It is also hard. Example is found in oak. Oak is a tree. So in the oak tree, it is called as acorn. The type of fruit is called as acorn. Oak. Oak is basically Quercus. Quercus species. Quercus leucotrichophora. Quercus uh, floribunda. So this is found in oak which is bigger it has you know a tougher outside structure and it has one seed inside next one is grain grain is found in the family gramini gramini or grass family which is commonly called as grass family which is also known as poesi poesi family all the members of gramini like wheat rice uh, barley they uh, corn they have these so what happens here in this type of fruit the pericarp and the seed the pericarp and the seed together they are fused with each other so this pericarp and this is the seed so pericarp plus seed fused with each other it is not distinguishable you cannot separate them so examples are wheat triticum sativum rice oryza sativa corn zea maize these all are examples of maize like this zia maize this is uh, corn zia maize rice oryza sativa wheat triticum sativum all these they are called as grain so we have seen akin we have seen nut we have seen grain this one fourth one is utricle now utricle is a very interesting type of dry indigestion food types it is world's smallest fruit found in any plant or in because fruits are found in angiosperms the smallest angiosperms as you know is so smallest fruit found in the world example is lemna lemna species and wolfia so these are the smallest these are also called as duckweed they are found in ponds duckweed plants very small now this this utricle how it looks like it's a small fruit like this and it has a small opening here called as operculum operculum and the seed is present here here attached like this and the size of this fruit is around 1 mm only so this is basically utricle world's smallest fruit in the uh, found in because angiosperms they have the fruits so this is uh, smallest plant also and smallest fruit utricle 
नेक्स्ट वन इज समारा नाउ समारा इज अ टाइप ऑफ फ्रूट विच इज फाउंड इन मैपल मैपल प्लांट विच इज ऑल्सो द यू नो लाइक यू कैन फाइंड इट इन द नेशनल फ्लैग ऑफ कैनेडा मैपल और एसर एसर ऑफ लॉन्गम एसर स्पीशीज दिस वन हैज विंग द सीड दिस इज द सीड and what it does have it has a type of extension like this and it has a wing it's called as wing it is an extension of the seed coat and this is a seed you know seed basically they have the outer coat of seed is from sclerenchyme matter cells um, you will also find videos on the types of plant tissues parenchyma calling kaima is current kaima and i'll discuss about all the details and basic concepts about that and the tricks to remember these tissues also